So those of you that are not familiar with it, it's a very simple rule. When you get into a trade, if it hasn't started moving your direction within six candles of the entry time frame, get out. Even if it hasn't hit your stop, if you get in and it's just kind of hovering, get out, walk away, go do something else. Because two reasons, one, nobody has an unlimited amount of time. And every time that your capital is at work in a position that's not going anywhere, that's, that's, that's a waste of energy and a waste of effort. The second thing is, is that if it's not reacting the way you expect it to react, that's probably because you don't have the order imbalance necessary to cause price movement. Remember, price movement is created because of an imbalance of buy orders and sell orders at a specific price point. That's the only thing that causes price movement, is an imbalance of buy orders and sell orders. And so if I get into a position that I think is gonna go up, my imbalance says that I have a very low number of sell orders at that particular price level. I have a very high number of buy orders at that particular price level. And I anticipate that the sellers are eventually gonna dwindle down to nothing. I'm gonna have more buyers than sellers and price is gonna rally. But if I expect price to rally and it doesn't rally, what does that tell me about my balance between buyers and sellers? What does it tell me about them? Tells me my sellers are greater. And the more sellers that stay in there, the more time at that price level it has to attract more sellers. And that's the way I look at it, is that I don't want it to attract more sellers. The way one of my mentors told me a long time ago, he says, Chuck, if she ain't winked at you by 10 o'clock, she ain't winking at you. Go to bed, right? <laughs> like, like if, it, if it's not working, get out and walk away.